Hey guys, two bits of exciting news today. I'm expanding my social media presence and unboxing this brand new Hikvision NVR. First of all, a new board is now on Facebook. Just another way for me to stay connected and share my experiences on my technology projects. Second of all, a dedicated NVR is an easy solution to recording your security footage. I'm recording a bunch of videos demonstrating this solution, starting with the unboxing of this DS7600 16 port NVR. These can be purchased on Amazon for about 450 US, or you could save yourself $100 if you want to pick one up on AliExpress. I'll put the links in my blog, and that will be in the description below. These dedicated NVRs are a great solution to recording your security camera footage as they are an all-in-one solution. They're made for processing video feeds simultaneously so there's no need to worry about building a PC with the correct CPU speed, with the correct amount of RAM and then buying the correct software in order to record your footage. So no need to worry about a PC, everything is all included within the NVR. Now you can buy these with or without hard drives. This one here does not come with any hard drives but it does hold up to two six terabyte drives. Also the NVR will provide electricity to your cameras. The PoE switch is built in so there's no need to worry about picking out the correct PoE switch. It's all included. But there's no cameras included within this package but there are kits available and you can buy NVRs and then pick out what different cameras you want after the fact. All right, so let's have a look and see what's inside the box. All right, it seems to be packaged quite nicely with the main unit in between the, what is this? It's a bag of manuals and then there's a box. So let's have a look and see what's in the bag. Okay, first of all, we have a CD, probably a manual on it. Get the latest off the website. I'll put, my, I'll put that into the description below. A quick start guide. I actually had a quick look at this already. It does have a lot of good details in here, but look at the one online. The one online is in color and it has more details. A quick user guide. Don't waste your time with this. It just basically tells you how to install the hard drive and log into the system. So lastly, there is an attention piece of paper here. Basically it says that there's no default password. You have to activate the device and create a password to use it. It's a security feature, uh, ensuring that you have your own unique password. All right, here inside the box, you have a standard power cord. You have a little USB mouse, a small remote control. There are no batteries, but it looks like it takes AAA batteries. There is a network cable, some small screws, looks like for mounting a hard drive. Some SATA data and power cables for the hard drive. Let's get the unit taken out here and have a look. The NVR uses 280 watts of power depending on how many cameras you have hooked up to it and if you're using one or two hard drives. It supports synchronous playback of 16 cameras in 1080p or 4 cameras in 4K. So let's have a close up look at the front of this unit. So right here on the side you have a power light next to a hard drive activity light network activity light and a USB 2.0 port for an external hard drive, mouse or keyboard. So let's have a look at the fun stuff here on the back. So here we have the 16 PoE ports that support 100 Mbps each and they supply power to each of your cameras with PoE. Here we have the RCA in and out for two-way communications if your cameras support that. This is the alarm connection, we'll get to that in another video a VGA port in case you have an old school monitor, the alarm legend so you know what you're connecting up, the HDMI port and the gigabit LAN connection and right underneath we have a USB 3.0 port and here we have the grounding screw which uh, in the manual they talk a lot about making sure it's grounded before you start using the device but there is no wire to ground it uh, kind of disappointed there would like to have seen that uh, power input of course and then power button and then the unit cooling fan. So there you have it, that's everything that's included with this MVR system. In some videos coming soon I'm going to be installing this hard drive and adding some security cameras to the system. So if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see what else I'm up to please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.